So the study is called the MPDRC112 study. It's a randomized phase three study comparing pegylated interferon to hydroxyurea in first line therapy of patients with high risk ET and PV. So the study was done because uh, right now the probably the most prevalently used um, agent to, to treat patients with high risk ET and PV is hydroxyurea, both in the US and Europe. Um, there's concern in the physician and patient community that hydroxyurea is a leukemogenic uh, drug um, and that Pegasus or pegylated interferon may be a superior drug based on preclinical studies that show that uh, Pegasus has an effect on the hematopoietic stem cell directly, as well as early phase two studies um, that demonstrate a, a, a very impressive overall response rate hematologically as well as complete molecular responses with Pegasus. So combined, there's been an interest to uh, move Pegasus forward into the upfront setting. Um, and in many, many institutions, um, the belief is that it's already a, a superior drug. The MPDRC set out to demonstrate um, or at least provide evidence-based uh, recommendations um, that one drug is superior to the other um, and is tolerable because they really are different drugs with different mechanisms of action and different uh, toxicity profiles. So that's the, that, that, that was what really drove the, um, the construction of the MPDRC 112 study.